Hi, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform SQLite CRUD operations in Android using Kotlin. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here I'm selecting empty view activity and click on next. Name of your project. Here I'm selecting languages Kotlin and click on finish. So first we design our layout. So open activity main.xml. And here we use relative layout. Now we add a uh, edit text for ID. So here we set the visibility gone. This edit text will be visible only when we update the data or delete the data. Now we add edit text. Now we add edit text for name. Now create another edit text. For age. Now we add some buttons. So first we add button for insert data. Similarly, we add buttons for update data, read data, and delete data. we add a list view and this list view we use to display the data so here you can see first we enter the name and age here we perform operation insert data read data update data and read data and this list view display our data now we will create layout XML file that will display our items. So here click on layout and here we create layout resource file and name it list item. So here we use linear layout. Now we add three text views, one for ID, one for name, and one for age. Now we create a database helper class. So here click on new Kotlin class and name it database helper. And this class we use to manage the SQLite database and perform CRUD operation. And this class should extend SQLite open helper. So here we extend SQLite open helper. So here we create companion object.
now implement all the methods so we implement two methods on create and this method called only once when the database is created for the first time and on upgrade this method is called when the database needs to upgrade so now inside on create method we create a table and here we pass a table name now create columns now we execute our query I have changed the name for better understanding. Now, inside on upgrade, we drop our table and recall on create method. And here we write the query. Now, first we write the code to insert a new record. Now, here we pass our column name. So by using insert, we insert the data into the table. Now we write the function to read all the data from the table. And here we create cursor. So here we write the query to read the data. Select asterisk from table name. Now we write a function to update a record. So we update data by using ID. Here, this function we use to update the data and we use column ID to update the data. Now, we write a function to delete the data. So, we delete the data by using ID. Now, here we use delete function. Here, we pass our table name. As I said earlier, here we delete the data by using ID. So in where clause, here we pass our column ID. Now open main activity dot kt. And here first we get the IDs from XML file by using find view by ID.
here we create an instance of database helper class Now we write a function to perform insert data. First we get the name from edit text. Then age. Now we check the condition when the name and the age is not blank. If it is not blank, then we insert the data into the table. So here we use the database helper class to insert the data into the table. Then here we call the function insert data and here we pass name and age. Now after insert the data, we clear the edit text. And here we hide the keyword. And here we said edit text visibility gone. Now we create a function hide keyword. Here we write the function to hide the keyboard. Now after insert the data, I want to display data. So here I create display data function. So this display data function read all the data from the table. Now here we create cursor. So here we use db helper instance of the database helper class and here we call read data function So here you can see, here we provide list item.xml IDs to display our data in list view. Now we set the adapter. Here we pass our list item layout, then cursor. Now we get the list view ID from XML file by using find view ID. Now we attach our adapter to the list view. Now we write the function to update the data. So here we create a function. So first, we visible our added text update.
Now get the name, age, and ID. Now we check if our added text is blank or not. So if it is not blank, then we update our data into the table. Now here we call update data function from database helper class. And here we pass our ID, name and age. After update the name and age, we clear the text from the added text. Now here we call hide keyword function and display data function. Now we create function to delete the data. So first we visible R, ID, edit text, then we get the ID from edit text. Now we call delete data function from database helper class and here we pass our ID. After delete data, we clear all the text views. Now we work on button clicks. So first we work on insert button. And here we call insert data function. Similarly for other buttons. Now next is button update. And here we call update data function. Now button read. And here we call display data function. Now next is delete data. And here we call delete data function. Open manifest file. And here we add some permissions. Now run the project. Here you can see the output. Now enter the name and age. And click on insert data. So here you can see our data is inserted. Now we insert another data. And age. So here we insert another data. So when I click on update data, so here I have to provide the ID. Now the updated name and the updated age. Now click on update data. So here you can see our data is updated successfully. Now if you want to delete the data, so enter the ID and name and age. When you click on data so here you can see our data is deleted successfully don't forget to like comment share and subscribe